Welcome to Ludumdar 38 RVA Game Jams entries. That was a terrible, you terrible start. I'm gonna, it. I'm gonna go Great again. Job. I'm gonna go don't again. Do it, we're doing we have, it live. No, we, we have, have too a guest many, here. We have too many people who yeah, might yeah. see this who don't know us. So I'm gonna start again. Okay. <laughs> welcome oh, to the oh, RVA. Oh, oh. I, was, I was giving you a little echo. Oh no. <laughs> That's the one we're going with. Uh-uh. <laughs> welcome to this replay live. <laughs> We're doing Ludum Dare 38? 38? You didn't do the echo. I was waiting. All right. This is Ludum Dare 38 on Instant Replay Live. I'm Joe, joined by my rather angry brother, Nick, and special guest and developer of Bantam. And podcaster. And, po- and just really just throw in man. an extra like, thing. Yeah. What wait, don't you wait. Do? Is this the take we're going with? I guess so. Dylan Joe's, Ward. Joe's a jerk. Yep. That's my last name. Ward. Yep, he... of Ward Games. Wow, <laughs> founder <laughs> Dylan and Ward president. of Elvento Games. Yeah, you're you're a third generation Ward Games, aren't you? <laughs> That's what I've heard. <laughs> yeah. My father, and then my father's father, who yes. came across from Ward, a, Wardlandia. He was a developer of yeah. indie games at the time. He used uh, wood blocks at the time. He was right. bestowed the name Ward by the uh, the Duke. Uh-huh. He had to carry his, the the original stick of RAM around. Uh, Stored away in a in a safe cold place. Yeah, it was actually a joke. My dad. Or, Whoa. Oh god, ah! we got sound up mm-hmm. a little oh, too high this. for this. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. All right, uh, so I've I've kind of learned your game, Dylan. Um, would you mind reaching forward and and turning down the speaker there, so uh, we yeah. can not have it all pick up on that's the that's the hardest part about this game. You can't Which you button? can't reach. Oh my god, what a disaster! Hang on. Oh, oh that oh. Those oh. Are those. This is real professional. Oh, Jesus. Uh, this is Bantam, which is your game that you developed for Ludum Dare. That's correct. Um, the theme was a small world. I'm, I'm so glad to know Ooh, that because the... I couldn't find it on their website very conveniently. Yeah, so that I website, wasn't... Uh, Mike Krizer uh the guy that runs Ludum Dare, is like the sole proprietor of Ludum Dare. Right, it's so like a single dude doing all this work to they, bring uh, reasonable assumption thousands that, of people. That, that maybe most people watching are, are already know what Ludum Dare is, but for those who don't, Yes. It's a game jam, and for those who don't know what a game jam is, it's where a bunch of people get together for a weekend, more maybe sometimes, depends on the length of the game jam. I, they I make a game in a short amount finding. of time, right? And uh, yeah. they're given and, a theme. And for those of you who don't know what a game is, why are you on this channel? <laughs> yeah. yeah, unsubscribe, yeah, get, out, get of out, here. out of here. We don't want your... Yeah. So, so uh, I, I found your buildings, here we are. There it is. So easily. You conquered it. Before. Yeah, and then I fell when I was turning on yeah. the... So there's no like boundary in this. I didn't put one in, so you can just fall perpetually forever. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the thing is, I have learned. I've learned your game, sir. Yeah. That's and it's, it's pretty much just lie yeah. down contra style. Look at those elite strats. <laughs> You've already wow. figured out yeah. the secret. You got the dynamics down. Whoop. Whoa. All right. So. Okay. I'm gonna die now because I, I, I want to say the theme. You said the theme was a small world, and yet you seem to have a giant overworld. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but there are there are small worlds in it. Oh, then okay. I got you. Got you. Okay. So what? Let's let's walk us through. Uh, since we have the unique privilege of having you, the developer of the game, me here while we play the game, mm-hmm. what, what was your what was your process here? Uh, well, in previous game jams, I would um, I would get the theme and spend like a good maybe like three four hours just thinking of an idea. And this one, I just kind of like I had a couple of ideas planned beforehand before even knowing the theme. I was like. Whatever the theme is, I'm just going to try to force this gameplay into oh, the theme. Oh, really? Yeah. Because I'm like, oh, I want to mess with this, or I want to like get better at doing this or that. Um, and so when the theme was announced, I just immediately went to making art assets. Like, I made that castle that you just flew out of. That was the first thing I made. Nice. Um, and then I made the guy's walking cycle immediately after that. Um, did you do everything? Yeah, I did everything. Uh, this music? This music's me. Oh, God. Nick, you uh, can't lay down and shoot here. I, yeah. I mean, you still can, because well, you like have just enough life if you do it fast <laughs> enough. I've, I've played this, <laughs> but I'm not going to make it this time, it looks like. Well, you can... So, uh, extra strat, um, you can shoot the saw blades and it'll destroy them. Yes, yeah, yeah. But Nick just you spams the, the shoot button. Well, cause... it kind of works out, though, if you just spam the shoot button. Well, you got... You might you might lose it here, man. Yeah, this is where it's tough. This is oh, yeah, there it is. see, because wow. your head is up Game too high. Over. I, 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 well, I, it and this is a happen. minor thing, but I really like the text that you have the the, the 
uh, I don't know the font, the 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 shape of your letters. Uh-huh. It appeals to me. It kind of has a Street Fighter vibe going on about it. Street Fighter, Tales of Arabian Nights, Ducktales, yeah, <laughs> like mm-hmm. like just that great like adventure like. I was slightly disappointed it wasn't a Batman parody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was like Bantam, <laughs> and every time I said the name, because like this is a cool sounding word, like it's called Bantam. And they're like, so where are the chickens? I'm like, God, no, there not, no there are no chickens. Not, yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> What's a bantam it's a small chicken yes oh but like bantam it. is also like kind of a synonym for small because there's like bantam weight in martial uh, arts yeah and, like, oh, i like pu- have heard this pugilist term. sports yes is that, is that like below like welterweight i think it is i think it's okay. between like welterweight and flyweight or something flyweight it was flyweight right. is that, like, well, let's on move top on of the water guys surface? let's flyweight, that's enough of etymology for bantam um so this was this was your game, but we have at least eight other games to go through. So let's go ahead and jump to one of those. Wee, 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 wee. Made with unity. Made with love. And compassion. So Ooh. this one is Intertidal, which is a game by Tyler Rhodes. Uh-huh. Or UV War or Of War. I don't I don't know Are which you, uh, I, controlling this? So okay. yes, I am these little um these little snails, right? These little yeah. multicolored snails. Yeah. Aquatic snails. And uh, we're trying to eat You're... because every time we eat, we grow. However, the tide comes in and immediately tries to take us away. <sighs> and you have to try to hold down space to hang on. Yeah. Uh, it's sucking um, you back the other but way. But uh. your lifespan is not as long as the tide is itself. Right. So you have to eat something in the tide before you're going to die and lose everything. Which I think that mechanic is fascinating. Yeah, it, it took me a minute to figure it out, for sure. I was like, why am I not just holding on? But you have to let yourself go That's a little a bit. That's right. to be in over there. No, it's okay. And uh, He's, he's going to die anyway. Yeah, he's going to die anyways. See? There yeah. you go. Um, yeah, he also has a, a grip meter that's not surfaced. Uh-huh. So all the snails have limited grip strength. Right, and you don't see it. You just have Some to kind of like... Shout out the Colossus, actually. Yeah. Guess at it. It's pretty fun, actually, to Different. like watch them whip around yeah. and catch some. I'm, whoa, oh, I'm, oh, I like. I, like, oh, I really oh, like smack. watching them neigh. Uh, you know? Excuse me. Yeah, like you're whipping. You know, oh. watching them neigh. You know. Yes, and neigh uh, again. Yeah. There we go. Nailed it. Neigh twice. I am uh, the uh, um, Will Smith simulator. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's it's a pretty neat little concept. It uh, I assume it's endless, right? Did he ever? Yeah. Okay. They're, 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 I mean, a lot of Tyler's games are very uh, very experimental. He, he, he's told me before, oh, and we've said it on this before. He likes to make toys. Yeah, he doesn't like to think of games as having like an end. Usually, he likes to make things that you can just kind of play with and explore. Hmm. I think the one game that he made, I forget the name of it, but there was one that was an exploration game. That uh, that did have an ending, but it was because he was on a team. Yeah, that was a global um, game jam, I think. Not right, this, exactly. Ver- pre- this year, but I think last year, 2016. You, you are correct, indeed. So uh, that is the concept here. You just keep going. You try to get as many snails as you can. It's very... Um, it, it's there, Like you said, there's no interface that's telling you, like, this is your grip meter or this is how long you have to live. You just have to intuit it, which means that figuring out the game is kind of the game itself, and that's pretty neat. Yeah. And they're getting just sloshed. You haven't lost one they're yet, doing better they're, Yeah, doing you. better without me. They're eating so much. Uh, uh, yeah. There they go. All right. Next game. All right. We're on to Asteroid Aggressors. Indeed we are. So with this game, you um, it, it's kind of a um, like a like a mining type game. You go up to these rocks and you have to right click on them to try to, I think you hold down actually right click, maybe not just spam it. Use your but, science. Um, you're, you're breaking the rocks to get ore, which is slowly building up in my top left corner. And then when you get five ore, which is exactly one rock, you can build a turret. Um, when you've built all of the turrets... Oh, by the way, this is um, Jacob Kreiner is the developer here, who, as uh, Dylan was just telling us, he wasn't actually at the presentation. Mm-hmm. I haven't met Jacob. Do you know Jacob? Uh, he went to school with me. He was a oh, computer cool. science major. That's, at, yeah. that's pretty neat. Yeah. Um, so the, the idea here is you just build all these turrets, and then once you've built enough of them, uh, or once you've cleared the rocks that are currently spawned, I guess, then an enemy will manifest. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, um, and you have to use your turrets to defeat it. However, I don't think he's actually built in any kind of lose conditions. Like, I think you can just stand on these guys and they don't hurt you. <laughs> just so fly them around. So Yeah, so it doesn't actually have, like, a win or lose, but it is a fun concept. 
Um, and then as soon as you've cleared a wave, you get more, and you just keep on going. I would like to say that this guy, his his general posture makes me a little sad. <laughs> his yeah, he, shoulders are way up. Or well, his head's, head's way down. Hung down, right? He's yeah. like, I can't even die on this planet. <laughs> <laughs> I think he has, like, Lou Gehrig's disease or something. Oh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so each wave, there's more enemies, and you have more turrets. Presumably, at some point, he would have worked in... Uh, breaking the turrets and health and stuff like that yeah. so that there's um, yeah. but but for now it's pretty much what you see here is um, you you go through and you you build stuff and stuff comes at you and you kill it and repeat yeah um, I think maybe the reason um, he didn't get as far along in the scope of this game as he might have wanted to is because uh, oh just he pop oh, um, okay. <laughs> got that occlusion culling yeah. <laughs> cameras off of him uh he so this is like a Java applet that he programmed. So I yes. think he just wrote his own like very small engine, or just used yep uh, the Java some Java library to do all this this drawing for the sprites and stuff, um, and instead of using Unity or Unreal or Game Maker or something. And mm -hmm. he talked to me about that before when he went to a previous uh, game jam where he was like he was more interested in kind of tooling around with his own engine. That's cool and stuff yeah. like that, That's which is what's perfect for a game jam, right? Like you're gonna experiment and build stuff. And if it works, then you take it on to another project later. Yeah. The what large, you... uh, the large blocks remind me of like old Windows games. Definitely. Yeah. Like Chips Quest or even or DOS. Like. Or yeah. Yeah. DOS further too. back. All right. Next game. Now this is Miss Grow, which is in the Unreal Tournament engine, and it's from Brain Deer right. Games. If it is. Um, active. Okay. We're gonna All just right. move forward. Nick, you got it. <laughs> All right. Look at that shrine. Yeah, Look at it's, that it's a, a little angel, a uh, cherubic Aww. stone person who is, says, Sup, welcome to my island. Which, you know... If a, you bring me five shrine completions, I'll give you a heart piece or an endurance upgrade. <laughs> it does remind me of that. <laughs> we don't talk to the horned angel. So this is actually a really neat concept. Um, it's really right pretty. off the bat, you can kind of just go anywhere and, and you know, you suffer the consequences of going anywhere. If you go in the water, it's you like drown. It's like your own little small world. Uh, it, it, oh, man, like oh. that little theme. Uh, you can just ignore the path, which is over there, and do what I did, which is jump on these rocks and eventually make your way up there. But in the interest of time, I'm going to go the, the proper way. Um, the guided path? Yes, yeah. The critical path? Right. Oh, man. These little grass things make me pretty happy. Like, uh, It's a very pleasant yeah. experience. Yeah. yeah. In the eyes. So Alex, who is um, the head of Brain Deer, the brain of Brain Deer games. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, he... This is his game, um, and he's a grad from the Savannah College of Art and Design, where he did a uh, game dev there. He has his like BF BFA in game dev or game design, mm -hmm. um, and he made this in UE4. I'm going to interrupt you just to explain what we're doing here. Yeah, that's so why I paused. I picked up a power up at the top of that hill, which allows me to shrink down oh. to access new areas of the map. Oh nice. my! It's little, got a little tiny campfire. Yeah, a little tiny campfire. Which, I mean, this feels like a, a fairly complete experience, I mm. felt like, was what one of the more fun parts of it. Like, you have a lot you can do here. Um, shrinking isn't all you do. Once you get over the uh, over the bridge here and to this other shrine, Through you gain woods, a you new embiggened. power. Yep, yep. The embiggening. Which allows you to bypass the, uh, the deep depths of the ocean that would have drowned you before. Now you can simply walk across them when you're in giant mode. And what were you saying, Dylan? Where were you going with the... Uh... Um, so, yeah, he made this in UE4, and uh, he, he knows his way around it. And he didn't do, like, any uh, traditional programming for this. So there's, like, a, a uh, um, kind of a visual programming language in UE4 mm -hmm. that you just chain together blocks of logic. So And that's, what, of... he did, that's what he did his entire game in. So like a whole bunch of like modular pieces of code, basically. Yeah, they're basically like state machines. Do the where did all the assets come from? Uh, he made they're very or some of them might be available in UE4, but oh. I think he made a decent amount of them. Um, you just walked into that and just knocked it over. <laughs> oh. You broke. That's not the that's not the path you're supposed to take. Well, uh, it kind of is actually. So obviously that's where it wants you to go. However, I did some exploring by walking into this house, and I find there's a little coin here. Mm -hmm. And uh, apparently that is the real treasure of the island. Yes. You get these powers, but there are little hidden coins everywhere else. I That's the only one I found, to be honest. <laughs> the, the power to grow or shrink at will is immaterial to the power of, of wealth. Of coins, yes. <laughs> yeah. The power of wealth. Wario has taught us well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, yeah. Wow. So you get up the top of this tower here, and... Um, 
there's there's additional puzzles. You get another um, another growth where you can get even larger. Uh, there's another island, and there's just more to explore. We're not going to go through everything here, but I think the concept is is pretty sound. Oh my god! Stop. You dogs are great. Thanks, Joe. And uh, and that is Miskro. Did, did he explain the name at all? Uh, I kind of think about Mist. Honestly, I wonder if he's like Mist Grow. Mist yeah, Grow. Yeah, that's that's how I think it. Like Mist Grow. Yeah. Like you're growing mistakenly. Ooh, you can just cheat on this puzzle though. You can't. Uh, I tried. There is a ceiling, uh, like an invisible ceiling for it. But then you get your big, big. Always like going big, big. Yeah. Now you're the true, true. Uh, yeah. And uh, and this is Miskro. So. Ready for the next game, guys? Not really. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. Now it's Joe at the controller here, uh, playing Paisley. I'm in Paisley Castle. Paisley Castle. Will Blanton, one of the co-heads of RVA Game Jams, friend of the channel. He's been on a few times. Yeah, I love the humor right off. Like, hi, find the princess. Hi, I don't know. <laughs> Just. Uh, <laughs> but thanks, mom. Yeah. Oh man, you went to exactly the right place, Joe. Hi, I'm a spider. <laughs> <laughs> Just it's it's genius, the simplicity of this. Yeah. Um, I I struggled. Uh, why is move your mouse out of the way, Joe? Get it out of there. Oh, okay. Yeah, you don't yeah, need yeah, that. I was planning to click some stuff. You don't. But... You don't need to click. No, anything. there's no clicking. Not there's just the yeah. <clears throat> there's just arrows. Yeah. Uh, you have discovered a town. Yeah. With with upgrades, however, you have very little monies. Okay. Buy my swords. So, money is you know, money is something you want to build up. Gotcha, of course. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. So you're going to head to the one dungeon. Look, this is the cave entrance. Um, yes, that's that's the dungeon I was talking about. Um, I wasted a spider. So what did Will have to say about this game when he was presenting? Um, what did he have to say? <laughs> oh, great. I'm well, I was, no, no. Well, <laughs> I was sitting next to him the whole time and just watching the, the thing un unfurl um, for like for half the jam but him yeah. and his friend David were talking about it and I think as David came up with the idea it was like what if you just had like a really small RPG that only took place over like a 3x3 three three grid and Will was like that sounds great I'm gonna run with it and amazing David, David was like god damn it <laughs> yeah that was my idea uh, but you fell in love with a snick oh with a uh, uh, snick a snack indeed. A frig. Splattered a frig. a frig. Yeah. Uh, w Will seeked my input on all the verbs used. Oh, really? So I think we there's like iced and peppered and yeah. wasted in there. Yeah. yeah iced the frig. That's great. There, there's a, now you got to be careful here, Joe. Careful. You're going to die. You got to run. Get out of there. You got to run. But when you get out of there, there's a slight problem. Okay, spawn. Everything has spawned behind you. So, yeah. You just got to make your, make your way out. Uh, if you level up, however, which you're very close to... You could, you could get a full heal. Well, what he needs is a shield. Yes, you are correct. And there is a place he can get that uh, without having to buy his first one. From my boy Greg. Oh wait, you don't. Uh, I just buy the first one immediately. You can you can go to the woods and get the crappy shield. Or, All right. Like, yeah. You got so a think, crap shield. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, however, he has healed now. Yeah. Why don't you go back out to the woods, Joe? Let's let's go explore a little bit more. <clears> go. Um, you can kill that one. All right, that's fine. They didn't go, go, go down. Go from south. Here. Yeah. It's, oh, it's a PP forest. The... <laughs> yes. Right, let, me, let me speed up my play a little bit. Yeah. Oh, got... oh, God. Speed run. <laughs> yeah. I got shield now. I don't even. Maybe, wasted. Maybe we'll. Uh, do we want to wanna just play until you die, or do we want to. No, yeah. I want to see. I want to see how this unfolds. <laughs> yeah, this is what you're, you're very Joe, you gotta invested. kill everything because that's how you're gonna get your xp man yeah you're right you gotta build up you gotta xp and money because you have a, you have a crap sword and a crap shield yeah and there's no way you're beating the game with what you have oh, here you're dead well right. that was that so yeah <laughs> you just slammed your head against that snake uh, i did say beforehand this snake looks dangerous it's that's true <laughs> um so I, I one of the things we didn't get to see though is that he actually introduces at least one puzzle element before this is over. I don't think I even got that far. Oh, really? So you get just past that room, basically, the next couple of rooms. There are dogs. Uh-huh. And as far as I can tell, you can't kill the dogs. Maybe I needed a better sword. Oh. But... Um, I wasn't aware of that. Because, yeah, I, I got to the dogs, and then, like, they took out... They took me out, like one or two hits. I was like, well... Oh, they hurt you? See, here's the yeah. thing. I spent 100... Well, I, I, I gathered up 100 gold and got the best shield. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if the dogs just couldn't hurt me. 
But you didn't have a good enough sword. Right. I wonder if that was the issue. So I yeah. thought you just had to puzzle your way around them. No. Um, you, you just weren't strong enough. I see. Interesting. Okay. I, w I was hoping it had like a, like a, I don't know, just like a little bit of Legend of zelda ness to it, where it's like, yeah, you can kill most things, but... Nick, we had 48 hours, all right? I, look, I'm... <laughs> I was expecting, like, a Miyamoto, like, full Nintendo production. I was expecting, you know, the Citizen Kane games. The, um... But no, I loved... I mean, this is the one I've spent the most time on out of yeah. all the games. Um, and then I got... What ended up happening was I didn't have a good enough sword, apparently, to kill those dogs, and there's two of them, and I got trapped in a corner. All right, Joe, don't make the same... Get out of this room. Well, he's have... okay. He's got lots of hearts right now. Yeah, but he's going to hit us. You he's can gonna... take a beating. Uh, but yeah, it probably would be a smart idea. You to... need to get a better better shield and or sword. Yeah, yeah. It would be smart. Or just keep trading between these two well, rooms. Well, now you're going to die because you're, you're hurting and you're going to have to get out of here and fight your way back. I'm getting gold, okay? That's yeah, what I'm speaking... I just want to know where to go at. You just farm the first, like, five rooms. You can. That is the best way to do it. The, uh... I almost did a prepped game where it was like, I have 200 gold just to like buy the best stuff. Well, that's how then... that's how Will was bug testing it. He just gave mm -hmm. himself like 200 gold. So yeah, just right. Just wipe through, through it. And he, the first build he put out, he accidentally left that in there. He's like, oh, crap. We gotta go back in and nice. switch back to 10 gold. Uh, but yeah, the, the combat system, like the actual like numbers behind the scenes is... Is pretty, I'm very curious about that. It's pretty simple. It's just a, it's an attack power versus a defense power, and if the attack is greater than the defense, then the um, so subtraction of that would the remainder of that is how much damage you take. So some things can do damage. Is there any RNG to it? Uh, there might be a, a there's, minor. There's amount. definitely got to be some RNG because when they're hitting you, like you can you can tap the same enemy. Like I, I had this with like the first shield and then with the big shield um you're tapping the same enemy and it it doesn't do any damage doesn't do any damage doesn't do any damage and then bam you take a hit yeah so there's got to be some rng they, they, they probably by like one or two integers like that's probably the range right yeah um but it's it's pretty solid but yeah god damn it will right <laughs> like how does he put this stuff together and like it just looks good. Well, he's been game jamming for yeah. so long that I think he knows exactly how to scope out games. Right. That, that's actually something he said before. I think was that he just like he knows. I mean, scope. It's exactly you've got it. You said it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't repeat uh, my words. I don't need to. Yeah. You gone, he, he knows what he can get done, and he just focuses on making like that small thing that he can do mm -hmm. look really polished. Yeah. Greg says hi. Buy my swords. Hi. Buy my swords. Yep. And get, get yourself a good shield. Mm -hmm. One of the Nash shields. Did you say hi by my shields? Hi by my shields. <laughs> Thanks, Melvin. Melvin. Yeah. All right, I got the All right, shield now. You're good. All right, now you can fucking decimate. Yeah. The uh, but yeah, and and that's how I felt about Bantam. Is that like okay, this isn't like the most polished thing, mm -hmm. but it's a complete loop, and yeah. it feels good enough. That's I mean that's like a huge thing because so many games don't get finished. They don't ever reach that point. Where you you do have like a beginning and an end, right? So um, so I doing this game jam kind of let me oh. see like the like the clouds cleared and I could see the pathway from me to Will. Mm -hmm. and I'm like okay, now yeah. I know. Now I just need to make just I need to not overthink game jams anymore. Yes, nice. You will be the next Will Blanton. I will be the one. Yeah, I, I will be. Th you will sever his head and claim his power. The, the last in Will the quickening coming out. December 2017. <laughs> the Last Will. But then there's like a sequel to that called The Last Will and Testament. And it's like, it just keeps on going. <laughs> the Last Testament. The Last Testament, yeah. It's called a slip slop. And the, the Testament and the Furious comes out after that. <laughs> and then it's the first commandment. <laughs> it's, it's so biblical. Um, That's yeah. what I want. I want a biblical cinematic universe. <laughs> Let's get on it. Get, get Mel Gibson on the phone. <laughs> you got like, like noses. Uh, noses? No. <laughs> Noah I got, assembles. I got, a, I got a nose for noses. Yeah, Noah assembles like an arc, but also it's like the Triskelion and Shield. Like he's he's uh the head of of the uh, the the biblical Avengers. Jesus is Thor, but he uses a spear of destiny. They're called the Crusaders. Oh, now I got a. I didn't see what it said. We got. We can't put this video up now. It's because we got to save that <laughs> we idea. Gotta save this. Just beep it all out. We yeah. gotta, just to, gotta write the screenplay. Wonder movie rights two biblical stories at least at one point in time were purchased 
I don't know how that works. Like at this point, well, I think you're you're for a specific interpretation. Like I'm maybe you can buy like the, the King, King James. James. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. We're on the same page. Uh, yeah. We need to buy the Quran rights. Uh, oh, jeez. <laughs> That seems dangerous. <laughs> Coming this fall, Joe Wetmore is Muhammad. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move on, Joe. How do you feel? How do you how do you do it? Wait, uh, he's not dead I'll be yet. Playing this for a while. Y- yes, I, I think that's the problem, right? Oh, is this, that you could oh, play this forever. He's gonna. I mean, he's he's risky. Are you right gonna now. ice the snake? Or is the snake gonna ice go you? Go look at the dogs. Just go into the next room. Like the, dogs the, next, room, the next room. The, the next room after that. No, the next room after that. Just keep going. Just keep going. Slip just slops. Just, he slip slops. Just keep going. You're I'll gonna, die at these slip slops. He's gonna die. All right. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> you, no dogs for I you. I just got gooped by slip slops. I know. Nick. All right. Goop slip slop. <laughs> We're gonna move on to the next game here. All right. This game's about walking. It is. This is walk about Galen Montgomery. No, it's about walking. It it is. <laughs> Wait, what's in this game? <laughs> walking. Oh, okay. All right. Can I um, look around? I don't believe you can. This is the only game that I didn't actually get to really uh, test out because the Windows build was crashing at first. Um, this is a new build that he he hooked us up with. So, oh, um, I'm glad he got fixed. Yeah, yeah, in time for us to be able to record. Um, so I have no idea what you're about to do other than that this is a person. And when dialogue started before, it immediately crashed. Another Whoa, traveler. this is all new to what me. What are the odds? Yeah, yeah. So it brings you out on the road. Wait, road is highlighted. That's important. That's a key item. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't know. Oh, you definitely ah, should have said, well, I don't know. You won't find much of that out here. It's mostly just plants and this one path. I guess that means some people come through here. Not that you'd know otherwise. Nice meeting you, but I should be going. There's many miles of road ahead. Good luck out there. All right. The like, walking continues. I like that dialogue chime. The boom, boom. boom, boom, mm, boom yeah. Boom, boom. It is very really subtle, but it's not. I, like, uh, I really like the um, the hollowed out, like not filled in art style. Mm-hmm. It's really neat. Yeah, it may, it, I like it. It makes it hard to discern things from distance. Yes. But sure, sure. But I almost wonder if that was, I don't know if that is the point or not, but like the traveler in the road felt like, oh, is this going to be menacing? Is this going to be friendly? Ooh. Is this going to be the same traveler? <laughs> You've gone around the world. Oh, it's you again. <laughs> oh, it's the Flash. Oh, wait. It, it is him again. Wow. All right. I wasn't expecting that. Find anything interesting out there? <laughs> you know which one to pick. <laughs> uh, well, actually, I, I don't. Oh, wait, just for road. Yes. Because, yep, just keeps going. Oh, wait, where'd the accent go? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> he shouts back. Yeah, just keep going. Oh, Governor, there's a there's a lot of walking though in I this. Didn't see any more keywords? Astral plane. <laughs> more like astral plane. Uh, is there an end to this one? Do we know? Um. So Galen kind of explained the premise to me, and you guys kind of sussed it out already. Is that? The small world in this case is oh you meet the same person what a small mm-hmm, world mm-hmm. Um, I don't know what the conclusion of okay. this is because I didn't see the dialogue when he was making it gotcha but it definitely I mean obviously he can't write infinite dialogue so right. it must have some kind of an end oh. he probably kills you he has a sword <laughs> yeah you again bum, bum. seems like we keep running into each other so I tried making one of those rock piles couldn't get it to more than three stones high oh god this is a Blair Witch prequel (laughs) (laughs) it happens my rock piles are always falling over next time you see this guy next time you see this guy he's gonna be staring in the corner of a room yeah just like staring away from you (laughs) yeah but he's still transparent so he's just it's like they've just reversed his image (laughs) (laughs) you still see the eyes yeah exactly on the road again what are some other road theme theme songs? Follow the yellow brick road. Or is goodbye, it yellow goodbye, brick yellow brick road. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> we welcome you to yellow brick road land. That's what the munch can say, right? Uh, it's close. Yeah. It's definitely close. Hello again. Seems like we keep running into each other. We sure do. I see you're still around. You see yourself out here much longer. <laughs> probably maybe I'll see you around then later I think I will no it was uh, probably see you around then later <laughs> oh separate independent clauses I, I, I read it the way I read it and you know what they both kind of make sense Joe chooses to interpret how he feels on all things in life it doesn't just yeah. apply it doesn't end at video game dialogue yeah I am the Quisatz this is very 
serene. Mm, I you're like serene. it. Thank you. <laughs> it's right. my eyes. It's, it's his, he was saying that's your name. Still at it, I see. Guess the adventure just wasn't done yet. It just keeps going. I'm just about done there. This might be our last meeting. Oh, that's incredibly Although sad. Different ways, but we kept running into each other. Small world, I guess. I was actually going to say, oh, he says small world. Then he's like, small world, I guess. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, it faded out. Oh, that's great. Aww. Wow. I'll, whoa, wow. then it quits the application. <laughs> yes. That is a serious, like, you are done. <laughs> it's like fucking Undertale. I can't believe you've done this five times. <laughs> well, I was waiting for the fake out from like, well, I think this is going to be the last time we see each other. And then there's like eight more iterations of this. Right. Uh, it's just, it just, was expecting. just becomes um, the Stanley parable. And he's like, this is getting tedious now. <laughs> All right. I don't know how this, many more ways I can say I've seen you before again. This, this is my own personal hell. <laughs> so this is Broda Zoa by Ruthie Edwards. She is uh, she wanted to do something different. She specifically said so she didn't go with her typical pixel art style. There's no pig buttholes. She she told me I would be disappointed with that. Um, <laughs> but boy, how was I looking for some pig anuses? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, this is just a a game where your goal is to convert. Everyone into oh, your God. friends. <laughs> yeah. Is this a Mormon mm. simulator? What's going on? Yeah. Oh. Which, funny enough, there's a very similar game uh, we're going to play as well. Uh, a very similar theme from Momen. That's true. Um, in the conversion area. The arena of conversion. Okay. Are these the things? Can I so, convert the big guys? No, you, you can't, can't convert the big yeah, diamonds. Not everyone will be on your side. Just, well, just most of just, everyone. Just the small Sims huds. Yeah. They all seem to have gravitated towards the left. <laughs> Where they get converted back. Yeah, right. uh, she was having trouble with the pathfinding originally. At first, they would just like all spread to the perimeter. And, hmm. um, and then they would just like kind of dumbly bounce off the walls. Oh. <laughs> like not on the they It would were, almost be better if they were bouncing more like instead of this kind of clustering. Far guys. Yeah. But um, um but yeah. She she um Come on, Brotozoas. We're I think, all bros here. Now you should be able to finish this off real easily. Just go down the line. Yeah, just fart all ba, over. Ba, 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 you yeah. win. Yeah. I am the bro Sidon. Yeah. I also like how the end state like doesn't actually end, so you can just keep playing even right. with the, right. the win screen on it. Yeah. I always feel like a winner. You will always be a winner. Yeah, you got to hundred percent there for a second. Because I think you only need like ninety something to win. It was like ninety nine or something. Yeah. This game asks the real deep questions, like if you could emit a gas that turn people, people into your like, friends. Yeah, turn them into your friends. Like you would imagine, you? Like, just uh, walk into a restaurant. All but, right, everybody loves me now. But uh, Ruthie and Galen is actually pretty interesting because I think th they started late. Like Galen went to the oh, uh, really? science march on Saturday. Oh yeah, so that was the same weekend. Yeah. And then Ruthie, I think, came in on Saturday and started working. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah. To just try to do a jam with like half the amount of time that you would already have very minimal amount of time to do. Right. That's I mean, rough. I love that they've got like this thing like rolls around like. Yeah. Looks really yeah. Good. Like, she she made all these models. Um, That's cool. Because they are three D models. She just and she doesn't them. usually work in three D, which is it's cool. Yeah, not a lot. All right. Well, cool. This was thanks, Ruthie. Bro to Zoa. Job, bro. Hey guys. We're back. It's Hi. A, in the middle the of that. Same, this, it's the full, same full, video. Full <laughs> intro. We're instant replay live. This is the <laughs> point. Uh, I'm playing I'm Laszlo. I'm Dylan Alvento. <laughs> Casting Not today. Dylan Ward. <laughs> Not Dylan Ward. Laszlo, Laszlo. Laszlo, Laszlo is going to go make some friends. It's my got favorite. a small head, a <laughs> real big shirt, <laughs> tiny pants, and he's so medium. So nice. <laughs> Laszlo lives in a world of extremes. Um, uh, so this is this is Momen's game, or Fool Moron, as he likes to be known Abdel on the internet. Ramanda. Oh, you're Laszlo. Let's talk fast. I have to submit my Ludum Dare game in 30 minutes. <laughs> Anyways, you sorry, if you don't enjoy this game, it's hard to please everyone. That's true. So, so the idea is very similar. You're trying to make contact with 1,000 people. Okay. Um, and they get the little, like, the, he was very inspired by Persona, he says in the description below. Uh, so he's got, like, the, the weird, like, shaky box um, for the, the dialogue yeah. and the outlines that they get. And um, they forget you, though. So what I couldn't figure out is he says, you basically, you meet people, you talk to them. They raise some kind of relationship meter of some kind mm -hmm. and become your friend and then when your friends introduce you to other people 
I couldn't figure that out. There's like some sort of influencer mechanic, and I don't think it happens with every character you talk to, but some of them glow differently, I believe. Oh, interesting. Um, okay. If I was interpreting, hey, what can I do for you? Oh, guys, it's Mark's Day. Happy Mark's Day. Thanks. Oh, Mark's. <laughs> uh, Willowry the, the yeah. fourth. When is Lennon Lennon Day? <laughs> Lennon Day is uh, three days after Mark's Day. Okay. We got to get to Sanders Day. I see. Then Trump see. Day. I see. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh. Right. it's the darkest timeline. <laughs> but yeah. So, yeah, you, you interact. There's lots of fun dialogue. I noticed some of them seem to just do like a Snake generic, kills Dumbledore. Um, Not the Wizards of the Lost Coast. Spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, if you like puzzle games. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Like stacking. <laughs> hey, Lazo, we already talked today, but I guess we could talk some more. What was I saying, though? Oh, did you know it's really tedious writing random dialogue? <laughs> yeah. Genius. <laughs> Genius move there. <laughs> Thumbs up. I love the color palette, oh, what's though. what's your name? Yeah. Oh, Lazlo, we already talked. Oh, gosh. Oh, t- t- <laughs> oh gee right. willikers. Get out of here, guys. Wait, did this turn to the Andy Griffith show? Oh, oh. oh. So, this, so oh, these my. are all the contacts. Okay. These are all the people on in the world that you can talk to. And, and, and their position. They so they have that yeah. uh, X and Y position. Lazlo, can I ask you something? No. What was I saying again? Oh, Twitter doesn't exist in this world, but if it did, I would totally follow at full moron. <laughs> That's genius. Now, so how weird. incandescent? Achievement unlocked. Just kidding. Or am I? This I is am. like a viral marketing campaign it is. for like yeah. eight well, different it's, things. It's funny because the first thing I did was like, man, it feels like me trying to get Instant Replay Live known out in the world. <laughs> and I didn't even see his Twitter... Uh, his Twitter bit there. I hadn't hadn't seen that dialogue yet. You guys should make a game. You could make you could Probably. you could you could power this with Twitter so that all of the characters just all of their like dialogue was like tweets. If we made a game, it would both be terrible and it would also be well, like, intentionally that terrible. That is interesting oh, well, because yeah. we are we're working on a game. Uh, we're working on a visual novel. <laughs> uh, uh, that's true. It is going to be terrible. <laughs> it's called Clones Instant Inst- of Joe. Instant Replay Love. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty good. That is actually pretty good. That's, that's your new, that's your new I mean, that's video. That's definitely what we were going to do all along. <laughs> that no. just kicked it into full gear. <laughs> Are my friends converting anybody for me? I don't um, know. They have to like go Super Saiyan or something for you. Like, oh, you'll, how you'll, do I do that? I don't know. Got to talk to more of them. Yeah, it's Mark's Day so the 10th. You just have to like keep on going through. But the thing is, it seems faster to just run and talk to them all. Like just like just yeah. just but blast they dec- through because they decay. So if you look at your Welcome number, it, first right? Lazen, so the longer Lazen, you talk Lazen, to them, the slower they decay. Experience. I guess. Well, well, I'm not sure about that, but um, like he it was is at, going up though. Yeah, yeah, but the last time he was at 49 and then dropped back down to 40. So right. he just like, but then it shot right back up and he only talked to like two people. Yeah. So somebody's out there influencing. Insert Rick and Morty reference. So. If you like puzzle games, like The Witness, <laughs> you should check out Cloister. The, the Cloister, his other game jam game. Nice. Am I just saying random things? That. Thanks so much for your time, Laszlo. I know it is valuable. Yeah. <laughs> so anyhow, this is the concept. You just, it, it's very similar, ironically, not ironically. Uh, it's oddly enough to the last game we played, which is Ruthie's game. You go out and by making contact with people, you convert them into your friends in this case. Joe Day. Joe Day. It is Joe Day. Wow. That's, wow. That's interesting. Yeah. But and, yeah, so uh, he's like randomly generating all of the first and last names. Um, like that's he has, awesome. Yeah. yeah, he just has like a, a database, quote unquote. Oh wow, I jumped up there. Somehow. A text file of some sort. Sure, sure. Oh, it dropped down from ten. Oh, it's jumping all around. And then it also randomly rolls your days of the week in your mm-hmm. months of the year. Mm-hmm. So if he if Joe were to start it up again, uh, it, it would, would have be a different, totally different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah. But he, like you said before, he was really he's been really digging Persona Five, and you can hear more of that on the Wardcast. Oh, episode really? Episode 79, where he talks about him playing Persona 5. But uh, yeah, so like the UI, like the dancing around rectangles, he talked about how it's relatively simple to make that because you're just drawing a rectangle and then filling it in with color. The, the, it, there's it, more to it than what you've just said. Because <laughs> yeah. I can draw a rectangle and fill it in with color. Programmatically, and it that is what he's a doing. rectangle. It doesn't go, well, I'm a trapezoid. Wait, no, I'm not. <laughs> draw. The shader that he's drawing for that is relatively computationally cheap. Yes, I, I understand that. But uh, just it's the just idea. It's just a rectangle. Of, it's just a rectangle. Your You're eyes just dizzy. Paper <laughs> your eyes are swimming. against your Nick. monitor. Uh, what was that? You just draw a rectangle on a piece of paper and you smack it against your monitor. Oh, yeah, and then it'll and do it that. it jumps into the game. Yeah. All right. Well, now that we've learned something today, let's move on to the let's next get, game. Let's get one last nice... Nick, read this Read this person's dialogue. All right. Abdel Rahman Yotos. <laughs> Hello, Laszlo. I've been looking for something to talk to. <laughs> Somebody, maybe. What was I saying again? Oh, I don't care if we've had this conversation already. I really value your company. Burr, it's cold. 
You're a great conversationalist, Laszlo. You haven't said anything at all. You let Wee. me ramble and ramble. I think that he is an influencer because he's he's co- now because he, he's, he's now, now he's lit up. Yeah, he's lit. He's oh so lit. Oh yeah. man, you know how we love modern lingo on this channel. It's funny how you like actually want to talk to people in this game, and maybe it speaks to me more than anything else. But I would just run through and just try to touch as many people See, as that's, I. Well, I was like trying to figure out which is faster when I played. I was like I would sit with people for a while, and then I would go, "What if I just?" And I felt like it was faster, but maybe it's minimal oh, potential. Like dudes. you can re- you can reach more people faster, but your grander potential is if you can convert more people. Probably mm. uh-huh. that's and that's a good life lesson. Mm. I also like this utopia he's built, where it's so all the names are so multiculturalist. That's true. Right, it's yeah. good. Next game. All right, our last game for today. This is Monolith by Sam Lotion. And David Carney. David, I think, does the music for him. Is that right? Yeah, I believe that's yeah. right. And Sam is a local RVAer. God damn, that, that title screen's awesome. It, it's that's so really good. good yeah. I mean, this one has so much style right off the bat. Oh, okay. Like, okay. people would play this. Like, if you just release this on the web, yeah. people would yeah, sit absolutely. and spend time playing I mean, it. Uh, itch itch uh, tweeted about it, like the official itch page. Oh, like, really? Try this out. Well, oh, Sam's nice. really good about that because Sam, like, I mean, Sam's a wizard with like shaders and whatnot. Yes. Um, you want to move the mouse out of the way? Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah. Uh, oh, no. And um, so, like, his zero hour game jam game, uh, what was it called? Microcosm, I think, mm. was featured on like, or tweeted about on Kill Screen. It's awesome. So he, like, you know, he has a very cool Ooh. aesthetic. You yes. Does. Um, he has a very cool aesthetic. That I think appeals to a lot of outlets, <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of yeah. people. Well, because it like it feels old school in this way, where it's like I don't know. I mean, like these shaders look like something that you would you couldn't see on old technology, yeah. but it's a new it's kind reminiscent of, of. Yeah, it's a new kind of cyberpunk. Like yeah, most '80s cyberpunk is like all CRT TVs and yeah. like a little bit of pink neon. Like this is like your one bit. Very, uh, uh-huh. t- uh, just the the gray punk. Just, yeah, <laughs> sure. Yeah. All right. I'm the gray punk. Yeah. That does are sound you? like a, yeah. that does sound like a, like a major character in some kind of like punk setting. Like gray. Oh, punk. it's gray punk. Everybody knows him. He's the guy. <laughs> I just love the the way the UI the text tilts to the way you're yes, looking. Yeah. I, I watched his entire progression through making this game, and it, it was I mean it was it's awesome. Really from start impressive. To finish. Like, there's so many little things going on. It's also really difficult. <laughs> like Joe is having a hard time because this game kicks your ass. Yeah, I uh, when I played it uh, when he demoed it on Sunday at the game jam, it uh, there was no uh, fail state yet. Oh really? So it was actually really funny because when you take damage, your like smoke trail oh. gets bigger. Yeah. So I was just getting bombarded you. by these guys, and my smoke trail was just huge and just like okay, screen. I, I think yeah, I obscuring out everything. Strategy. They can't like drag immediately. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you're you can, faster than them. So by if you far. sit in a single space, you get them to go in a different different, dire- different direction. Then yep. You can... But then it gets more complex than even that because ah. you get some new enemies. Oh wow. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, Damn. Okay. Those guys and, just and that's, fucking iced you. And that's not it because there's even more after that that just like shoot like just like basically like a solid line of <laughs> attacks at you. It's it's really impressive. There's a lot to love here. Yeah. I'm curious as to whether or not you actually get to the monolith. You do uh, not. Yeah, I figure this feels it's endless. The, it feels like the, a score you're, attack. Uh, you're technically not moving. Be- right. Because the ground in is the, moving. Well, in the actual design. Right, yeah. but uh, you know, the, I was wondering if there's a state that shifts you know, things forward. The monolith is the final boss. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. It just falls Damn. on you. This is like Dark Tower, but like a metaphor for Dark Tower. <laughs> yeah. Balls the ship everywhere. is Idris Alba. <laughs> <laughs> so dark and strong. But yeah, it's it's like it's fun to look at. Yeah, this is the kind of game jam game that just makes me want to quit making games. I'm like, well, I'm done. <laughs> just, just check out now. Sam is impressive, and his so the first game jam I ever attended, which I've never done a game jam, but was that um, that global game jam that we were talking about earlier, actually, yeah, the very yeah, same yeah. one. That's what he did, and that's his one. For, yes. And that was his Whoa. first game jam. Well, that was his first game oh. jam uh, with us. Oh, he's not, he's done but, them before. But he's been doing like, a lot of like he's from out of Blacksburg. He's yeah, been doing yeah. a lot of game programming. Yeah, I knew he had done programming. I didn't know he had done um, other game jams though specifically. Yeah. Um, but he's. I mean, it's pretty cool to watch his progression on where he started. Because like the golf game was pretty fun, but it definitely didn't have the style like this had. Mm-hmm. 
Um, it certainly was cool to like you know launch people across the screen and whatnot, but this just feels so much more polished to have done it in a weekend compared to compared to that. And Sam's completely self-taught; like he didn't go to college. Yeah. Um, so he's just a maestro. We got some real talent in the RVA. Real talent Speaking in the of, RVA. We should probably tell people actually while Joe continues to to finish this up. Oh, you, you, continues um, to die. Dylan, you come to us. We met you through RVA Game Jams. I come bearing gifts. You, you too? Really? No. Uh, well, your game was a Gifts gift. of friendship. Yeah. 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 I'm yeah, going to convert same. you by farting on you, and then uh, you will be our friend forever. Oh, God. That's how it works. Oh, no. It's already uh, complete. Bro, Brodozoa. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, uh, RVA Game Jams is a local group that I will link to in the description um, that we met you and all the other folks who did these games. Will Blanton is the organizer, one of one of the organizers, and uh, it's this awesome group. So for people who are interested in game jams or just interested in game dev in the Richmond area, to be able to connect and share ideas and hang out together during game jam weekends, mm-hmm. and I really think it, it deserves more support than it even gets. So everybody should know about it. You guys should go check it out, even if you're not someone who's interested in doing a game jam. Just go like their page on Facebook. We'll we'll leave a link to that. Um, so that you can uh, be aware of what's coming up and and who's out there in the RVA game dev community. This is insane now. Yeah, this is <laughs> this has like, gotten just real intense. Just the way the perspective skews as they get yeah. closer to you, it's hard to predict where you should go to avoid yeah. them. But it's so cool. I get cool. one of these guys before I die, but I don't know that I can. The, yeah. um, Come on. Yeah. Oh, you got him. Ah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I bring a lot of those guys on my podcast to talk about yes, game you do. dev. So the Ward cast, as I've mentioned before, has kind of <laughs> become the de facto place for the game dev community to kind yeah. of talk about uh, <gasps> yeah, this game, is the one I was talking about fuck? yeah wow Joe nailed it but I got lucky there will be more there. that that won't be the only there one of those blood. it's like Daniel Day Lewis's head in this is uh, it like yeah <laughs> yes it just <laughs> like shows it's like, it's like Andros at yeah. the yeah yeah well, so uh, that, that's what he was saying his influence was. He's like, I just want to make a Star Fox 64 game. And man, I love Star Fox 64. I was like, man, fucking do it. I think he, I think he, you know, it's obviously it's very different than Star Fox, but right. I think he nailed that feel. I oh, think, Joe, I think, you're going to make everybody spaz out. He, I think he, he, he oh, there's uh, the end. He, he definitely got the parts of Star Fox that he liked yes. into this game. So go check out RVA Game Jams, but also check out Dylan of ward games.com where he does game dev and his podcast on the regular. Of course, you guys know he's been on the show plenty of times before, but always go show him support, and that will be in the description. Anything else we need to say before we end this? Well, for some reason, you liked our voices. I guess you could subscribe to us, too, at instantreplaylive.com. I, I guess you could do that. Like and subscribe! And if you want to see more of this kind of content, let us know in the comments. Uh, tell us what you liked, what you you know, what you know, want to know more about. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I didn't want to say. That was a good joke. Tell us <laughs> yeah. so what you uh, like, and oh! Uh, <laughs> if you've ever done a game jam, uh, game jam of your own, tell us about your experiences in the comments yeah, below. Yeah, and maybe even uh, leave two comments, one with a link to your game, because the first comment, will, if you link, will get caught by the spam guard, but then I will go in and, and release your game uh, link later. So leave a comment with what you feel and your game, and uh, we'll check it out. That's complex. Yeah. <laughs> You really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf.